I got another toy shipped. And let's see, this is a Sterling engine. This is the base. Um, this is a cylinder and some parts. Okay, obviously this is a kit. Uh, the flywheel. Uh, some more parts of the cylinders. This must be the alcohol fueling bottle. And some screws and miscellaneous. Okay, I will have to see how we can do this on camera and put it together. Okay, onward. This is what it should look like when it's finished over here. And these are the components we were just taking out of the box. So, actually, uh, okay. So let's see what else they have in here. Oh, okay. They have an instruction set. Step by step, reasonably good English. Looks like a pretty good uh, instruction guide. Okay. So what I think I'll do is I will do step one and then I'll come back and show that and then step two, step three like that rather than try to do it all on, do it live. I've got this first step installed which was to put uh, these pieces on here. Let me make a quick note. I mean this uh, so far is really excellent quality. They supply the tools, uh, the components are first rate, everything goes together very well, the instructions are very clear. Um, so this is made by a company called Star Power. I don't get anything from them for saying their name or anything, but yeah, I would definitely, to this point, uh, buy another one of their products. So if they haven't done anything foolish, like leave out a part or done something like that, I'm, uh, I'm impressed so far. Okay, let's go on to step two. We got this thing mounted. It was just two screws. That was it. Step two is done. That is simply to put the shaft in here. It's got two bearings. It's got two flats. The longer flat goes on the flywheel side. The flywheel will go in here and then there's a little uh, pulley that goes on this side. And that will be the next step. Here is step three complete. It just required a couple set screws. One here and one there. And this is on bearings. Very nice. This step is to put the connecting rod in here and put this pin in there, so rather simple, but... Uh, and then, to get one step ahead, I'll put this in here, and then they're going to have me put a... a uh, put this over here and then put a, a piece of plastic to retain the connecting rod on there. I don't know if you can see it, but there are the plastics in position. And it's already fun to play with. <laughs> Runs very nicely. Next step. This step was rather simple. It was just putting the uh, set screw in here to fasten this connecting rod to this piston. And next, we're going to be putting this in here and then put a connecting rod from this to this. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Now we have this piston in place. This connecting rod's in place. This pin's in place and it's got the two plastic retainers. There's a plastic retainer here. I found some extra parts of these little Teflon rings and my guess is they're supposed to go here and over here. So I retrofitted those and uh, yeah, the, looks like somebody was doing a really good job with this. They're really serious about uh, making this a quality product. Let me do a half a step here. Um, you put this O-ring on there. It seems to be a silicon O-ring, which is very nice. And this retainer. We put it over here like this, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to use these four screws to set this in place. And here it is in place. I didn't screw it down real tight. I can always tighten it later but I just made sure it was consistent all the way around and gave a good seal this won't twist so that should probably do it I have the gasket here in place there you can see it when I move it and next I need to put the wick 
on the cover here. Um, and yeah, okay, and then screw it down. So I'll be right back. The only thing in this whole kit that I can find fault with is in this very last picture. You see that they're filling the alcohol burner with a hypodermic with a needle on it. And yeah, they substituted this bottle with this on it and um, there's no way that you can fill this with this. So uh, yeah, I'm sure they're, they're probably just meeting some US requirements, some standard. But yeah, you'll have to be prepared to, uh, to have a, an alternative way of filling that. Okay, so let's go give it a test. I've just fueled it up and this is the first run. Let's get it started. There she goes. Flame is going. Yes, ow, hot. Um, okay, all the warnings. There is an open flame, not for kids. Um, and it's liquid fuel, so you can spill it, set things on fire. I'm outside on a surface that's not going to burn. i got a fire extinguisher behind me, so... Let's see which way she wants to turn. Wow, that was fast. Okay, started right up. No break in, nothing. And that's slowing down his little breeze, blowing the flame. Wow, that is so good, I like it. Can't even see the flame. I couldn't figure out why it was slowing down. In fact, it almost stopped. Uh, but then I realized that the wind picked up outdoors and was blowing it across the back porch. So I put these two bricks there to block it, and now it's really, really running. I uh, really found this kit very, very well done. The instructions were good. The materials were first rate. The, uh, all of the uh, parts and everything fit very well together. And just, I'm very impressed. I wouldn't hesitate to buy another Star Power product. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home sterling engine experimentation.